What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode of the Daddy Boys Podcast. I'm here with my co-host, Dirk Emrich. My name is Wayne Carmona. There we go. I don't know. Uh, yeah, and uh, we, we today we don't have Brian, so I figured in today's episode, we'll, we'll uh, this one would be for the team. So we'll talk about a little bit about getting coached by Birdo, um, just a little bit of the ins and outs with, with working with Birdo and 3D, 3DMJ. Um but yeah, first off, man, Dirk, how you been? It's been like a week. Oh, how's it going, bro? Let's let's get it rolling, man. Yeah, it's been a week since our our last, yeah, last time on the podcast. And yeah, all in all, it's going good, man. Like, like it's still crazy, like the changes day by day, recovery-wise. It's truly like, man, it's like recovering for me a little bit, like from being sick. You know, it gets better day by day by day. And you feel like, oh, I'm back to normal. But then you're like, no, nah, not really. Like, you, <laughs> because we forgot, yeah. like, how it feels to be normal. And now it's like, yeah, every day it's getting better, man. And that's, yeah, it's amazing. Like, the weekly changes. It's Wait, you said you got man. sick? No, no, no. It's like how it feels like a little oh, bit. Like, when you're sick, and that's like how it feels like for me, like the recovery phase a little bit, like. Yeah. When you're sick, you get a little bit better day by day by day. And okay. with the recovery. Yeah, straight into the recovery. The recovery. Yeah. Oh, the recovery. Okay. So so if we're talking about recovery, mm. how, how is it on your end? Like you, you feel back to normal or um, it's been, I would what do we like? Say post show now? Three it's weeks? exactly three. No, three weeks even more. Like today's Sunday. Why right? three, three weeks, one day? So yeah, three weeks actually. So okay. it's crazy, like already three weeks, man. Post. How's the world champ feel? <laughs> it's still good. I would say, I would say ninety percent recovered, man. I would say yeah. ninety. It's still like, like most things are like back at baseline, but yeah, like with the with the satiety, it's still a little thing for me. It's way better, but I wouldn't say it's at one hundred percent yet. It's still like. I couldn't smash like 10,000 calories anymore a day, but I could still like, if I would eat intuitive, I would still smash like six to seven K on Sundays. Easy, easy. Yeah. Like, okay. yeah, I think easy with like chocolate and stuff. With, yeah, like, you know. like, okay. So you still have like that sweet. I feel like most people coming off yeah. of work have a sweet tooth, like. Oh, craving. big time. Heavy, right? Like I have a, a general sweet tooth. Yeah. Yeah. Like, same with me, man. A lot, a lot of us Damn. do. But yeah, so you it's like I eat a meal, I always have this there. Ninety percent is yeah. pretty, pretty recovered, I'd say, man. Training's good. Yeah, I would say as well. Training, Training man, that that was the main thing, man. This improved so much the motivation, the energy, the the fun part of it as well. But it's still not at one hundred, but it's ninety. <laughs> okay, you 90, know, like uh, 90 80, 90. Up there, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, pretty. So at what point there. did it like, start feeling good? Because I know, I remember. Um, the last time we spoke yes. on the podcast, you exactly, were kind of, man. you were kind of like not un, yeah, like almost demotivated. It was one week, one week ago, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah you kind and, of weren't as motivated in the gym. That's like the main change I had within this one week. It's like, man, training motivation was still at like, let's say, like thirty percent or so, still very low. Where it, kind of needed to like track myself to the gym, force myself to go train. I didn't have any like, yeah, fun during training. And then one to the next day, it, it just came back. And that's like the thing what like, yeah, is so amazing. And the biggest change within this one week, like having that, yeah, motivation. Well, what do you think again it was? Is it like the body fat gain or? I uh, think. Was it just like? When you checked in, Berto kind of gave you like a, a program, a structured program, and that kind of did that help mentally, or is it just um Bro, both, both. Also the okay. structured program. Okay. That, that helped me a lot. You need like a structure life, like, for your mental yeah, life. Yeah, I need to have like a like a goal, you know, like not yeah. just training going to the gym and training something. I need to have like that, yeah. that game plan. You know, I go to the right. gym with this movement and this yeah, really yeah, like keeps me up. Sets and reps, yeah. everything's set. So exactly. how long is your, your training block? If you don't mind sharing a little bit about your your uh this mesocycle. Is it the whole like eight week thing or it's actually like like it's um structured into like actually three mess like three cycles kind of. Oh, so really? the first one, 
the first one is just like four weeks, extremely high web stuff, like 20 to 30 webs on every movement, even on dumbbell RDLs, even on leg press, leg extension. So it's, yeah, a kind of different form of pain. <laughs> And yeah, the main reason why we're doing this is like to recover connective tissue, mostly because of prep, because we still made progress, like especially at the beginning. So that's definitely a little bit, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, down and also to, yeah, get the motivation, like more rolling as well, because like that high web stuff kind of is like, even like a prolonged deload phase. And then once coming back of that, like the motivation and all that will be so high afterwards once we start going back to like traditional reps and yeah training style and right. yeah most of all to really recover the training aspect and get the motivation 100 rolling and then we back to the traditional kind of yeah style but so, yeah we're enough yeah about me i think also about you a little bit like how it's going um with you, ma'am, recovery wise. It was so for training before we go to me, the training for yeah. years. So you're doing four weeks of high reps. High reps for you is like what, 15 to 30 reps, you said? 20 to 30? Or uh, 20, 20 to 30. 20 yeah. to 30. Damn, that's crazy. And 30 oh, to 45 seconds rest in between sets. Oh, okay. Okay. So real lightweight. Yeah. Like you said, just kind yes, of for recovery. Extremely lightweight. Yeah, 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 but it's still like on leg press or like leg extension, stumble RDLs. Anything like, that sucks, man. <laughs> wow, it's 20, 30 hard, minutes. It's a different feeling for sure. And, and, then, and you can just use so light load. It's crazy. Yeah. Like the load I'm using right now is like, dude, yeah. it's like nothing. <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, compared to like what you usually do. And then after that four weeks, what yeah. you said it, you have, uh, what, what is it looking like after that? Yeah, like afterwards, we're going like back to five days training per week. Right now, it's four days. And mainly like reps will get down mostly to like eight to oh, 15 okay. reps again in that neighborhood. So like, it's like your normal like even, stuff. Yeah, that's the normal stuff. And that's like the repetitions I, yeah, adapt the best where I have the most fun. It's like eight to 15, depending on the movement, obviously. And yeah, slight higher volume again, like more, a little bit more movements and reps. But yeah, yeah, yeah. all in all, it will be, I think, like four months, I think 16 to 20 weeks afterwards. So yeah, it will be quite long, but I'm super yeah. excited. And, and you're, getting like, a, you're getting these decent pumps. I know with that, that 20 to 30 reps, man, that must feel good. For sure. Yes, yes. It feels yeah. good. And the training is so quick, man. I'm I'm done training in like, I don't know, 45 minutes or so. Oh, or really? Like, wow. Less. Because, a because I have so short rest periods, like yeah. 30 seconds between yeah, sure. sets. Yeah. It's like... Not messing like around. Eight. Just straight in there and then get it done and then get yeah. out. And it's four yeah, times and a week. The first week was hard. That first week, like picking the white loads and stuff. Mm -hmm. Because that first set, you still can hit like 30 reps. And then I do the second set after 30 to 45 seconds. And I'm like, oh, fuck. I, yeah, I can could I even hit 20 reps, reps now? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, so yeah. you have to really pick up the right weight, which is going to be really relatively light, right? Yeah. Right, the right weight and the, also the reps. Like the first set, I wouldn't go like all out because then it's like, oh, go all out at first set. And then the next set, you can't do anything anymore. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Even with light weights. But it's fun. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. That's the most to important thing, right? Because there's a goal when you're doing that. It's uh, to recover, and yeah, we cover yeah. mostly connective tissue and like the yeah. mental as well. To like, right. like, like I want to push right now, but it's like I see it, and Alberto also like a little bit the same. Like dieting, like you should not always smash the hammer and go hard when it's smarter long term wise to yeah maybe take a step back chill a little bit now and then on the in the long run you make yeah. way more progress yeah and that's and where he's so, trying to make me that's why i'm so interested because he's, he's holding me back a little yeah, bit yeah but yeah that's I what know it, it is like, for me yeah. too man like when when i checked in this week he uh pretty much is just like holding me well he's, he's mm. you know yeah holding myself I'm, i feel like i'm holding myself back like he's like uh you know just yes. train three times a week upper lower you know and i'm used to training like five six times a week so and yeah, me too. Five days and prep course, brain, you know what I mean? Like you just still like, oh, I gotta get in there, gotta, you gotta, gotta hit it hard. So 
So yeah. having that extreme mindset, kind of what we have done prep, where yeah. you need to go a little bit extreme and yeah, exactly. So that's where yeah, that's but what I'm... helps the most, what helps the most is like having that experience, like knowing that holding yourself back right now, you will benefit like yeah. from it in the long run. It's yeah. the same with deloads. Like at the beginning, I was like, oh, I don't need deloads. Why should I do deloads? And then yeah. you know what you get out of it in the long run. So I see yeah. the same with this longer, yeah, recovery, yeah. like four weeks of recovery now, training wise. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, deloads are definitely yeah. like something that, uh, I mean, this is uh, in the past, but yeah, yeah, definitely something yes. uh, I had to get used to. Like mentally, yeah, man. And telling myself to especially like, especially for like, Ease off, ease up Athlete, off the like us, yeah. I mean, off the gas, I mean, and, and yeah, kind of like slow down a bit. Exactly. And that's the main thing I feel like with like athletes, like competitive athletes, like like us, it's like we more, we tend to push a little bit too hard sometimes. And then it's great to, yeah, that also our coach tells us, so oh, take a step back. So also with the dieting, with the prep, if I wouldn't be coach with Alberto, I would smash the hammer all the time and i would yeah. burn myself out yeah and yeah, lose muscle really and all that right yeah. right and when you get burned out you'd be like why the hell am i burned out you know what i mean you yeah yeah i get it for yeah sure. you still feel good now but then you're like oh two, exactly three weeks yeah. down the road and you're like oh damn yeah you get hurt <laughs> or whatever it is that's another thing yeah you know, you get hurt and that, that's like the biggest thing and that's why it's good exactly. that we have this guidance you know what i mean so definitely because otherwise definitely. i'd just be smashing that hammer bro like like he said i'd just be like Same. Four, bro. with my training <laughs> with the diet like with everything like i yeah man like that because that's Let's what i was go, saying like go yo, bro, when we, <laughs> yeah when we were talking right after worlds it's like mm. all of us are just like ready to like just not waste time you know just hit it hard and and still it's track hard, yeah. we still have that that uh that mind that that prep brain mm. to kind of like or just like that that mind yes, state yes. to kind of track everything from body weight to even like oh food like on the scale i, like, I this week I like the small away. food yes yeah like also the small foods food like 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 Everything. like i don't know salads like 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 Everything. um diet soda stuff like this i was still like yeah like tracking, still tracking you know yeah like, 10, yeah, like to the super team. small stuff yeah 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 yeah, yeah. L- literally yes. the same way so uh yeah but i think we get better with that like the more yeah, the more experience we get and stuff. Like I see it myself, I get way better with it, with taking, like letting go, like being yeah. chill because I know yeah. it's, it's yeah, helping my goal. And if I go hard, it won't help my goal. Yeah, no, so, for, for sure, for sure. And it also helps years, that like yeah. we, we check in with the coach, you know what I mean? Because like you get that, that extra, yeah. that second eye and then just that extra, you know, the person you respect telling you, oh, you just, you know, sit back a little bit yeah. and kind of like, take the foot yes, off the pedal yes, yes. just for a little bit you know what i mean and, and let your body recover so, exactly man so yeah, yeah man how it's going with your training and all that yeah this is wise. this is uh the same man like uh, i mean like i said last week it's just like i've like right after worlds i was I, I felt like super motivated to get back in obviously i think it was mainly because my mind is just like in prep mode and at the same time you know i i, I said I, I i didn't get as lean as i wanted so i felt like i could have done better so it's like all right mm. now in my mind i'm like oh next time we hit that stage whenever it is 2023 is maybe the plan um mm. i'm gonna be ready and i don't want to waste the day yeah. you know what i mean like and you want to waste push the day. hard now <laughs> and so yeah yeah well, thankfully uh you know like i said we have the, the coach to kind of um guide us exactly what a coach is supposed to do you know what i mean guide us in the in the right mm. direction because i know that um you know, even if we just kind of cruise through this month, we still have a lot of time to gain. You know what I mean? A lot of time. And yeah, we have a lot the of thing, time. like the time we gain will be more efficient that way. Instead right. of like pushing hard right now. Exactly. Then we Getting... like maybe get some results quicker, but less efficient in the long run. Yes, less efficient and, you know, possibility, mm. high chance of getting hurt, which is going to... That's, that's back the main longer. thing, man. That's and the then... main thing. I think the biggest thing that you have to think of when you come off of a contest prep it, and that's very overlooked because you're like, you're just so focused on to the next goal, right? The next show, mm. the next season. Um, and just the next the body weight drop. <laughs> All that, yeah. yeah. Just the recovery part. Mm. Like, like you said, uh, mm. yeah. Yeah. Connective tissue. Um, just mm. even more, more importantly, like psychologically, right. 
because we're so Damn, like let's track everything let's you know still like get our cardio in still get the, everything like body weight yeah, I, I I was this week I in, yeah yeah this week I, yeah. I i stopped tracking everything it was really hard too man like the first day uh that i checked in and mm. he sent that he sent that uh that check-in back i was mm. yeah, and he told me you know kind of this is what he told me he told me stop tracking everything um delete my fitness pal um <laughs> delete my fitness yeah pal. <laughs> train three to four times a week max which yeah. when i got back i've been training like at least six times a week like the first couple mm. weeks coming back from uh worlds so that was a little weird man it was a little weird but uh, i feel good now for sure yeah it's like so just a couple so days of doing that, that definitely gone. helped because i felt like in the beginning of the week i was kind of like mm. getting there like i was losing the cravings i was feeling like um less like my appetite was less uh, uh i guess aggressive like it felt like i i couldn't eat mm. the 10k calories my stomach wasn't like a black hole like it was like last <laughs> week um yeah that's hole. also gone for me yeah, yeah so that's pretty much gone um if i if i want something I'll, i'll have it but for the most part of the day how it's working for me is like uh, i'll have like a, a decent breakfast just eye everything um cool cool maybe like four or five meals a day uh anywhere from that's like good. 40 grams of protein to 50 60 grams of protein per meal and that's how i've been doing it and that's how i've been kind of surviving i'm I, really i've been surviving off of a lot of like protein shakes to be honest and then i'll have like that's good whatever you know what i mean like i'll have mm. protein shake and then uh let's say maybe some like toast and like some some type of spread i've been having like cookie butter spread because it tastes good oh <laughs> <laughs> so it tastes good Yeah, or like mm. maybe so, uh, some protein, whey protein and some cereal. You know, I get my carbs there. Um, oh, I loved it as well, man. I have like the eggs and some toast, you know what I mean? And then I have a protein shake. So uh, just to make sure yeah, I man. get the protein intake in. Um, that's how, how I've been working. It's only been like a week, but uh, I feel that's a cool. lot better. Um, and you feel like your know, appetite got down? Good. What? Yeah. Your appetite, yeah. you feel like it got down or like you said? Yeah, you yeah, it's, it's definitely now. way better. Yeah, uh, yeah same. Yeah, yeah like, I, I, yeah, I, I get full now. So off of like... Okay, that's cool. Yeah, I actually get full off of like, like relatively, you know, decent sized meals. Like, like I have like a chicken, two cool. chicken breasts, maybe like, let's say like eight to mm. ten ounces, which is actually it's kind of a lot now I think about it. But yeah, like eight yeah. ounces of chicken breast um eight to ten ounces with rice that's what i usually i'll have at night yeah um then i'll have some like dumplings i made some frozen dumplings nice. i got from costco but uh yeah just to you know just to have some some flavor add some flavor that's to good. the meal yeah 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 um, that's good man yeah but yeah yeah yeah. everything is good it's like libido's kind of coming back um, oh yeah yeah <laughs> I think we can, uh, <laughs> you got that Tinder Chris, rolling. Uh, like that. He liked the way you would pronounce libido. Libido. But, but it I is a good, um, yeah, it is a good sign that, uh, that, that we're recovering. Right. So, um, that's why I always, yeah, mentioned. it's, but that's it's still really the ritual. Like yeah. for some libido for me, it comes back really much quicker than for others. Yeah. And then for others, like the, like the satisfy cues kicking in quicker. Yeah. Um, it's, yeah. It's, it's, I think very it's interesting to see. Yeah. Like how, a lot experience. of a lot of the stuff we go through are very similar like with all the yeah. appetite, the cravings like sweet tooth cravings like, um, i still have a sweet tooth that's for sure man yeah, that's for yeah, sure like i still yeah. i crave my dessert and stuff and chocolate a lot that's yeah for sure, it's but. funny though it's, it's funny like how we always chat like every day and then we like yeah vent, <laughs> and then all of us are feeling the same pretty much practically yeah definitely man yeah yeah so we all definitely. go through similar things uh post post prep it's, it's Funny because it's like and i think know, like from january we will be at 100 yeah 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 for sure for yeah. sure let's get on and to also it. because we we cover like we, we cover like we do an actual recovery diet and not a reverse diet that's the main thing we should also oh yeah mention. that's right yeah, yeah, yeah that's yeah. that's why it goes so quick for us like yeah. after three weeks being nearly at like because we've been assertive with the calories like for me like 4500 for like yeah most of the time and yep. i It's see other right. people going way way less assertive and some yeah. takes longer so yeah yeah have you ever tried uh doing a reverse diet before in the past or no 
with Berto? I did. Like, not, not with Berto, but years ago before I was coached from him. And man, I felt like more months, like still miserable and extremely high appetite and stuff. Yeah. And I wasn't making any gains for a long time as well. So, yeah, really? Okay. So, yeah, you, yeah. you wouldn't recommend, uh, you would rather go with a re more recovery diet approach. Definitely. Like, like I was doing a reverse, reverse diet that. because I was scared of adding body fat again. I was scared of that. And now it's like, I mean, that's the main goal. I don't, I don't worry at all. I don't have any like worries about getting fat and stuff because, man, we still are all like in, in good shape, if you will. So, Mm -hmm. and yeah six kg above stage weight and that's that's great man so yeah 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 all right so all right let's bro. get on to let's the main topic man. we're making this this episode about um 3dmj man and just getting coached by yes, birdo yes, this yes, is yes, us yes kind of paying homage to to the team to the the coach uh and yeah yeah so mm. I guess a lot of this, this will uh, give insight to a, a lot of people, I guess, um, not only will we kind of like break down um, getting coached by Birdo, the application process, just a little bit in, in depth mm. uh, on our experiences working and, and, and I guess um, just mm. the beginning parts of working with uh, 3DMJ, Birdo and 3DMJ and uh, just five years in. Right. So for me, at least it's five years. I, I started with them. It's five, yeah, for me as well. Five years. Okay. So, wow. So yeah, you guys are getting experience from people that have been working with uh, 3DMJ for uh, five years. So um, yeah, man, wow. uh, yeah. I guess we'll dive deep back. Let's, let's date back to 2016, man. Like what were you doing yeah. in 20 prior to 2016 leading up to, uh, oh, yeah. yeah. What, what were you doing? Let's, let's talk about that. Let's start there. Let's talk, yeah, like like how, how it was beginning, kind of. Yeah, yeah before, so, so right before, before you that, started working with Birdo, what were you doing? Like when... I was, yeah, like I was doing, I can still remember, like an upper-lower split. I was doing that one from from Lyle McDonald's, like that uh, classic upper-lower split upper, with yeah. like two movements for chest, two for back, some arms, delts and stuff. So I can remember. And yeah like all in all i was i was doing flexible dieting before tracking macros and yeah and also especially like i already started at that point like watching that my technique is where we got good on movements and like nailing everything like even before i got coached from birdo i was like a little bit too perfectionistic i wanted to be having everything perfect like uh, like actually like that i make the most out of my training and nutrition so still body like that yes like body always bodybuilding like since i started like i started actually with calisthenics with like body weight movements but the goal was always like more the aesthetics. yeah more the aesthetic um, aspect of it like to make gains and getting stronger yeah build muscle. things mm -hmm. build muscle exactly so i did that for like half a year then joined the gym and well, when did you start training? Uh, I started uh, when I was 17, so nearly 10 years ago. It was, okay. yeah, like 2011? No, 2012, 2012. Yeah, that's when I started. So, yeah, right before Birdo, like I said, already did most of the things. Like, I, I think even I, I don't know if I was reading the 3D muscle... Um, muscle and nutrition pyramid i think it was out there uh, already but yeah, i'm not 100 sure uh, nutrition and, uh the muscle yes, strength yes, pyramid yes. nutrition and uh training yeah i have that yeah book. and it was yeah i literally have like everything that they they sell so yes <laughs> so yeah that was what i was doing before like okay and it was always basically. bodybuilding focused how did you actually yeah. uh, hear about or when was the first time you seen like anything on 3DMJ or, or Alberto? The, the first thing was like, yeah, definitely Alberto. I need to remember like, like you remember seeing him on like, like Instagram or something? Because yes, for me, it was two times. Yeah, for me, it was like 2011 when I first started. Like when I first yeah. did a show, or 2012, I think I did a show. Whoa! And yeah, that, that's when I first seen Berto. I see it. I forgot what exact it was like a dark picture of him, but he was like super jacked. He probably he probably knows what I'm talking about, but um 
yeah, yeah. I just saw it and I'm like damn and then I also saw uh that Matt Ogus obviously that was like a big same yeah, that was a big like, thing that I was like oh shit it was Matt yeah, Ogus and Alberto for me yeah well, like 2013 that. or so yeah 2013 I saw that that really famous pic of Alberto like where he's hitting that most muscular yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. And, and I was doing my cut my I think diet he was bald at the time. <laughs> Yeah, he he was bold and like like he was always my goal. Like literally, yeah. he was like my rule model in 2014 yeah, or so. And same. I was like, I want to be as shredded as him. Yeah. He is my goal. Yeah. And yeah, it was and then I came to 3DMJ throughout like to like yeah, having him as like my inspiration kind of. Okay. So, that so was you already, awesome. yeah, you're already kind of inspired by Birdo before you even like oh big time years man. before big you time. even yeah, okay. So that you, yeah, you see them on Instagram. Time. Like Alberto met Ogus as well, as I can yeah. remember. Like, it was also like, Orcs. yeah. The goats. <laughs> the goats, Pioneer. definitely, man. But, um, definitely. So, yeah, let, let's fast forward 2016. Um, what made you, uh, I guess, hire or even like start an application process through with uh, 3DMJ? Like, what? Well, the f- yeah the thing was like the main thing actually i was not 100 percent satisfied with my training i know i could get so much more out of my training on nutrition and i was like i had that like perfectionistic mindset and when you like you're kind of like own coach you like you think too much i was overthinking everything changing my training style mm. like nearly every every other week or once per month and i was always oh, wow. questioning what's the perfect approach and stuff and then i was like man why not just getting coach from like an elite uh, coaching team by 3DMJ? And it's like, that was the main reason for me. Like I, I wanted to actually hit the stage from f- like nine years ago, always. I was always, but I was always in my mind, if I hit the stage, I want to do extremely good. I wa- was like, man, I want to be the best possible. So, <laughs> and that's why I, <laughs> why I got coach. Yeah. that's why i got coached as well i was like yeah. like man get coach man like that's like the, the the easiest way to get the most out of it of the okay. training and everything and this yeah made me apply because i was thinking like what, what who's the greatest match for me as well like like yeah. and that was like also like for me like alberto i was like man that guy he's so cool and so has so much to? knowledge right so much knowledge as well and all that and so much experience and i'm like let's get it let's go yeah. and yeah, that was yeah. the main thing for me yeah yeah so so think so. bring yourself back to that time what, what were you thinking like like you just were like oh okay i want to get a coach and uh oh, what you just will go on instagram and like you remember that time Cause I do. Let me That's think. I, I, I think exactly I've, I'm not 100 percent sure, but it was at a time where I was a little bit um, demotivated, really down, because I was like not making as progress as fast as I like to. Like I was like, Plateauing like, a bit, you like, felt like, yeah, spinning my wheels kind of. Mm-hmm. And this was like, it was also a time where I was like, is bodybuilding even my thing? Like. Maybe I should look for another sport. Like I like got demotivated because I was not, yeah, like I said, like yeah, plateau, plateaued. And then I was like, okay, getting a coach is a little bit expensive. And then right. I was like, ah, let's check like everything, like what's the price, is what's that, what is the the like actual um process of it. And I was like, man, I really actually I really love bodybuilding, I love the training. And I feel like with a coach, he can help me to make it even more enjoyable. Mm-hmm. And then I just said, all right, let's do it. Just let's apply and take that step. Because I know when you never got coached before, it's a kind of big step. Like you, oh, yeah. you don't really know like what's, yeah, what's, what are you getting into? And right. it's a really big commitment. And and you once you money, right once you okay. pay once you pay money for yeah. for a coach yeah. it's like you are dedicated like you right. are like, yeah. you really want it and that was like the the thing for me like yeah. I, I really yeah wanted to step it up yeah, and yeah. then 
And how'd you I find it? Did Instagram? It. You just went on Instagram or did you go on their website type thing or? Um, I think on Instagram, like I already was following Alberto for quite okay. some time on Instagram. Yeah. And like I also for Matt Ogles, I think it was in his 2016 prep where he was also promoting 3D oh, and J a lot, yeah. like the yeah. muscle and strength pyramids. And, mm. Mm. and that's how I got into them. And then just through their website applied and yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. And then, then it's just started it, and yeah. it changed everything, man. Everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. for sure. So. I know. And look at you now, six years, five years later, <laughs> world champ. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> hey, it is. I don't think you want that. It was bad, a good right? decision. <laughs> yeah, it was good. It was a good, good decision. But most people would me. not, you know what I mean? Like, that's a grind, bro. Like, five years and then competing instead of, because from when I first started, I just straight mm. hit them up and then I'm competing that, that next, that same year, you know what I mean? So, uh, let's talk about like mm. that. Like, um, what were your yeah. goals initially? Like, when you first applied and when you first started working with Alberto? in 2016 yeah the the initial goal was like getting bigger <laughs> yeah that was like the initial yeah. goal to yeah add add on muscle and like making yeah the training my training even more enjoyable even more progressive and mm -hmm. also like the nutrition aspect of things i was like in the off season kind of like how i am doing prep i was like that perfectionistic kind of person like i need to track everything i can't go eat out go it go super oh, hard even you were like off -season. extreme yeah and alberto was Get like said, out. man you need to chill out yeah like, also with the training i was like really kind of obsessed a little bit oh, and wow. he was like like making me more chill with all that yeah and that's good. Yeah, and the initial goal was for sure to step on stage at some point, but I was always like, oh, Alberto, do you think I'm ready? Do you think I'm ready? I was always like, yeah, like... Doubting yourself. Um, doubt, doubting myself, exactly. Mm -hmm. And that's that's why I waited, I think, also so long. I was like, I want to feel 100% satisfied with my like physique that I, yeah, once I start with it. But it was always the main goal, like from day one to yeah. be actually com competing. And but that's what also you... what I told Berto. Like, mm -hmm. but I want to build like much more muscle before we start the contest prep. And we had many plans to do it. Like we actually like 2017, no, 18, we planned to do the first prep, but then I got injured. We couldn't do it. And then I think in yeah, 2020. We, we wanted to do it, but then COVID, oh, and then 2021, yeah. it happened. 21. Yeah. Everything happens for a reason, man. All Definitely, that. man. Def so the first time was 2017, then you got hurt, then 2018. Yeah, in 20, uh, yeah, 2018 and 19, I don't remember, like, there was also a period where like I lost muscle because of the injury where I was like, uh, building yeah, everything, yeah. getting back into the habit. Like I was what losing a little bit of that um, on my knees and elbow. So oh, I had shit. like the worst ever, like a knee and elbow injury. Well, you had like an ACL and, injury or what? Uh, like uh, on my knee, I had like a kind of like jumper's knee injury, oh. like patella tendon. And on my elbow, like like right here, it was so like a... Like, like, a, uh, I don't know the name exactly in English, yeah. but it was hurting during bench press and stuff. So, yeah. oh, damn. Okay. So, yeah. And then I was losing a little bit of groove. I think in, yeah, I think in 2018, 19. Mm -hmm. uh, and then I got back into it totally. And yeah. 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 That was the thing. Kind I forgot of, to ask so, too, like, because yeah. I know for, for the application process, for most people, you can't even pick a coach. Um, I have a few friends that yeah. uh, I uh, know that 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 um, applied after me, and uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, most of the times they just you just apply, like I'll go on the website, apply, do you put in your application, and then they uh, assign you a coach based on whatever I guess yes. whatever they think is whoever they think is best best fits to you. So I think you get yeah. to you get uh, either Helms, Birdo. Andrea, mm. Andre, I don't know if she that she still coaches. Uh, um, Brad, Lumis Lumis and, and, and uh, Jeff Albert, Jeff, right? So just whoever yeah. they they think is best. How did, did you get to pick mm. the coach, or is it like did you DM? I Berto? think 
I think I put it in the application that I wanted to get Birdo somehow. <laughs> I don't know. I wonder how they feel about <laughs> so, that. Some, like, like so, somehow a little yes. bit, but not so directly, like a little bit hidden. I was uh, these are my somewhere writing like, like, like in Alberto Lunes, he inspires me so much. And I got into 2DMJ because of him. <laughs> it's I was like, a little bit... was like... <laughs> <laughs> these so, are my so goals. Yes. Read I love Alberto. <laughs> <Get> a... <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> but something like that. And yeah, then I was yeah. like, I was so actually also, I was like, I really wanted to get coached by Alberto. And I was like a little bit nervous. Like once I got the email back, I was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I know I'm laughing because I know Berto. exactly what you're talking about. And it's not not disrespect to any obviously the, all the other coaches no. are, are great too. Um, but but yeah, it's like yeah, really. you know, you want someone that obviously you looked up to him more than the other yeah. people on the on the team, uh probably. Um or oh, got inspired more so yeah, in the, yeah, exactly. the That's I mean, as well. More so. inspired by uh I guess whatever he you saw in the media from Berto. Yeah. Um yeah, because it's the same with me. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah, man. That's funny. So, so how it's about with, with you, man? Like, how did you get um, into it? Like, how it was, yeah, before that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, I told you, this, coach, is a, like, this is the story. Let's talk about this. Hold up. Yeah, like, if you had, like, I don't know, if you had other coaches before, like, what oh, you yeah, yeah, in yeah, general yeah, before, yeah. like. Yeah, when I first started, like, uh, I mean, we, we don't have to talk about it too much, but. Mm. <laughs> We'll get an episode where we talk like deep about like origin stories, but like we'll talk about uh, mm. what I was doing before that. Yeah, I was always into bodybuilding. I think of it like when I first started training, it was like strength and conditioning more for like like army training. Like like I wanted to 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 be in the military at, at some point in the beginning. Um, and then and then I don't know. I just started. Of course, everyone wants a certain physique. You know, when you first first start working, yes. most most people it's like, all right, we're going to the gym to transform your body, right? And so well, what was your reason to start working out? Was yeah. it because of girls? <laughs> <laughs> like some people let you having that reason. Some have Yo, it. that is so funny. <laughs> and that is, yeah, it was. Uh, I mean, well, I was always playing sports in, in high school. <laughs> but um yeah, that wasn't like the main reason. I, I remember uh like in my head, like it was like um I think I was, I was starting some girl in high school. And then, and then we'll talk about it real quick and then we'll get back on topic. But, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was, it was a girl. Let, let's just leave it like that. I just remember some girl was like, cause she was talking about abs and stuff. And then I was like, I, I was like, I'll show you my abs. So I, I lift up my shirt and she was like, that's it. I'm like, what? my heart, <laughs> my heart little, little sophomore in high school, man. Um, <laughs> Yeah, my heart was broken. Then literally that that Damn. month, I was like, my dad, you know, I was in high school. I didn't have money. I, w- I was like 15 or 14. Yeah, 15. Mm. And then my dad, I was like, dad, let me, let, there was like this new gym that opened up uh, in town or the next town over. And I was like, dad, just please let mm. me get a gym membership. And I used it as an excuse for like, because I played sports. I was like, it's because I want to get yeah. better at basketball. You know what I mean? I want to be in shape. And, you know, thankfully, like uh, he he was kind enough to like, get me a gym membership 20 bucks a month at uh at a retro fitness uh you definitely don't know what that is because you know you probably don't have that i don't know that yeah no. it's, it's like a, a local gym out here but yeah it's yeah, so it was, funny it was, man <laughs> <laughs> we'll talk about all that later on but we'll get back on topic but yeah um, we should yeah yeah i was always bodybuilding <laughs> but, focused but, uh, from like 2012 mm. when i first jumped on stage it was like i said i'll leave that we'll leave it brief i did um a show in 2012 it was natural mania. Mm. It was an IMBF show, natural mania nationals. Uh, I was working with, um, actually, I was just kind of doing my own thing. I didn't know what I was getting myself into, to be honest. When I, when I wanted yeah. to do, when I uh, committed to doing a body, but that bodybuilding show, um, uh, I was working out with my cousin. He knew like some bodybuilders and uh, he was like, yo, why don't you try doing this? Mm. And I was like, all right. I mean, at first I'm like, I don't want to be on stage in speedos. You know what I mean? Like just flexing. That, it was weird to me. <laughs> um but yeah like, give me a goal <laughs> yeah yeah that's what yeah. my initial thought was um because all back then you know you just see it in magazines mm. there was barely any youtube uh in like 20 2010 2011 mm. so um you see what you see and, and it's just like that's what how i judged mm. it but it gave me a goal to uh kind of just be you know go keep working out and, and, and just yeah just gave me a goal to like uh push my push that uh training mm toward uh a a certain look 
right? Like, like, like a certain physique that I wanted. Like I wanted six a six pack abs, pretty much what the bodybuilders have, but not as intense as like yeah. back then. Uh, I think it was Jay Cutler and Ronnie Coleman that were like big and Kai Green. Not as yeah. that, not that oh. crazy, obviously. But um, yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. So that that was that, and then um, fast forward, mm-hmm. I guess in 20, 2014, I started powerlifting. I, I started picking up powerlifting mm-hmm. uh, during my bodybuilding training. Um, you know, it cut. I kind of yeah. lost motivation because it's you know if you're not training with bodybuilders it's it's hard to like stay motivated for like a certain amount. Of time. Yeah, yeah. Or, hard, or also man. like like in yeah. my gym like when you're the only one, even if you're the only powerlifter, only bodybuilder in your gym, it's a little bit like you feel lonely at some point. So yeah, yeah. so I started watching Never. YouTube like I, at that time, 2013. I was like in college, and uh, 2014, um, and I started watching YouTube a lot, and then I saw this guy. Uh, there's a few people I was watching. I was watching, uh, what's his name? Well, obviously Matt Ogus, and then he started powerlifting a yeah. little bit. Um, so it started, oh, yeah, started, like it the started trending. Yeah, he four, started, you know, doing six, squat bench and deadlift no, and all that, right? Three, five, seven program, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So he started doing mm. that, um, just getting stronger at squat. I'm like, oh, okay, shit. I want to get a stronger squat and deadlift. Yeah. When I started seeing, uh, what's his name's coach? Um, Brian's coach, Tyler, which is how I started mm. I started watching his YouTube stuff. I don't know if you knew knew, knew him before, but uh, he's mm. also a bodybuilder powerlifter. So I started seeing him. And then this guy, Johnny Candido, mm. was like a big uh, inspiration for me. I was watching him. Then I started getting into powerlifting, cool. um, started competing. And then I was like, hey, I want to get back into the mm. bodybuilding thing. Who, mm. and, and just like you in like 2012, I've always seen 3DMJ mm. through Matt Ogus and, and just Alberto. Cool um and uh yeah always inspired by him and then um in 2016 cool. i remember posting a i remember this so clearly i'll never forget this how how i this is how mm-hmm. i uh first got on on 3dmj because at the time i'm like i'm powerless mm-hmm. i'm doing real well at it and I'm, I'm progressing real well in the lifts and uh at a low body weight um and i remember i, I posted like a squat video and i think berto like berto commented on it randomly wow <laughs> yeah he random i don't follow him he doesn't follow well i do i do follow him he doesn't he never followed me i didn't tag him or anything mm-hmm. um he just comments i'm like oh shit i remember when he got it i, I like fit, fit yeah. it a little bit because my my cousin is yeah. a, you know we we both follow a bird on 3dmj too so i'm like my cousin's mm-hmm. also a pro bodybuilder so i'm like yo check this out Berto like my my and he commented on my uh post and i think <laughs> i was just doing like uh i was like 155 pounds and i was just at the yeah. time, this is good for squatting. I was squatting, and um, uh, I remember I only had, like, one knee sleeve. I was doing some weird shit. Uh, <laughs> I was squatting uh, 325, mm. I think it was, for, like, sets of, like, 10 or 12. Okay. Um, and at that, t- at that time, it was decent for my body weight. So, um, yeah, yeah. And then he comments. I forgot what exactly he commented. Yeah, I could honestly pull that shit up if <laughs> – if we have time but um yeah yeah i just remember he commented and i'm like oh shit I'm, i was like going crazy sending it to my cousin and then sending it to like my friends <laughs> i knew Berto. i was like yo Berto yeah. commented on my uh my squat video and uh and then i commented back i was like coach me and then he liked it and then i think he said he said uh dm me or something or message me and then, wow. and then yeah that's oh, how it started shit. Yeah, and that's how it started. That's um, amazing. This is a really cool story, man. Yeah, it's cool, right? Um, it's definitely cool. different. It's it's nothing crazy, but it's definitely different yeah. from like applying and then like uh yeah. These are my goals. I want to get jacked. Rip, so so it was more random Berto. for you. Berto's yeah. been my biggest inspiration. <laughs> it's yeah. a little bit different than that, but um. <laughs> Yeah, it was yeah, more yeah, random, yeah. kind of like. Yeah, it's, it's and, really random. Uh, I don't really even know how yeah. he saw the. I never even asked him about that. I don't even think I told him about this story before, but um, he probably doesn't even Amazing. remember. It. It is, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, just random, randomly like commenting so on fun. random Asian kids cool. spotting <laughs> at a gym. It wasn't even anything crazy at the time. It was a decent, you know, for my body weight. Yeah, but now times are different dudes are freaking super strong so but uh yeah that's how it started and then um yeah, yeah. and then I, I applied and then um yeah we just went on with it um 2016 yeah i guess was, i'll just keep uh briefly explain like like how the 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 
the past five years went in 20 this was 2015 like it probably uh, this video was probably mm. like january or december 2015 or no i don't remember actually probably february january february 2016 <laughs> and yeah i remember it was my birthday in march and then right right around then is when i i first started working on bird on then i wanted to do a um Mm -hmm. so the goals were for me powerlifting and um no actually it was a to do a men's physique show because men's physique started oh. getting popular so i'm like all right let me try this because i'm a, I'm a, yeah, I'm a, it smaller, had a big hype yeah i'm a smaller mm -hmm. dude so i feel like um i'll do better mm -hmm. i could i could do this better and then also powerlift at the same time so mm -hmm. i could do it in one season yeah i don't have to get super shredded i just got to get that beach body look mm -hmm. almost right and and, mm -hmm. and then i'll still be able to lift heavyweights um so that was the goal in 2016 so that's what we did we did uh I think a couple shows men's physique i i won one actually free and it was cool because uh we oh. talked about sean clarita stuff um yeah he, he gave me my award that day that on that show it was cool and it was at my college wow, that's amazing yeah it was at my college wow. it, was, it was mpc so that's why he was yeah involved there yeah it was cool so i won i won my class i didn't win overall um, so that just qualified me for nationals. That's good. Yeah, it was cool. And then I did one prior to, I did like a warm up show, which I, I didn't do too well. But I, um, and then, yeah, I did that one. That was in August. Mm -hmm. And then in September um, in 2016, uh, I was, I did a powerlifting meet. Um, um, and then initially, I wanted to do a powerlifting meet earlier just, just to do it because I was powerlifting anyway. Mm -hmm. And I was training. That's how I was training. I was doing my power lifts, my comp, big compound movements, and then I was getting my bodybuilding accessories in. And that's how we were kind of mm. uh, working um, with both. And it was working well. And then um, <clears throat> I got from like 165 to like 155 um, contest lean. Mm. Oh, no, 150 contest lean. 150 around yeah. 140. Yeah, like high 140s, just like uh, the same way I, I, I was this year for, for Worlds. And then, and then I did a powerlifting meet. Um, I was supposed to do one in June, but then I ended up doing it in September after my shows. And then mm -hmm. that qualified me for Raw Nationals. USAPL, you're probably not familiar with this, but USAPL Raw Nationals, um, which is like a, the, the, the national meet for this uh, drug yeah. tested federation. Uh, USAPL is pretty much like a, a uh, probably the most popular drug tested federation in, in the States, in the, U the U.S., um, so you've heard of it or no? You know, I don't think so. I think like in Europe, it's not so popular. Huh? Yeah. 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 So no, it's like, I, I was thinking once, but I'm like, man, I'm so prone to injury with heavy stuff. So oh, prone. Yeah. I would love to, I love to squat heavy, bench heavy, but yeah. my body is not made for that. Like yeah. my joints, they are so tiny. Like I, it's like always when I got injured, it was always from heavy, like it was compounds. from lifting. So your, yeah. your knee and elbow like, injuries from heavy lifting yeah from heavy squats and heavy bench press <laughs> yeah so, well yeah yeah, yeah. It it's fun man it's so much fun but it's like like it honestly fun. my body is like yeah not made for that man but yeah so we did the you not raw nationals mm -hmm. i competed at 66 kilo in the 66 kilo class i was like fuck yeah it, just because like I, after my shows i was like a, around 150 like like yeah wow. like high yeah. 140s which is like what like 66 kilos around there 67 kilos uh, high high yeah i think i think so yeah i think yeah, so i yeah, want yeah. in this night somewhere around there yeah. i think 66 kilos what 145 point something yeah 145 like 143 is 65 so okay. i can remember yeah, the class yeah, so, that was my yeah that was the weight class i was competing in yeah. I, was, I was like about yeah yeah so i was around there so i was like fuck it let me just cut a little bit diet a little bit more compete there yeah did well i got we got top eight it was cool. I got to meet Berto at uh, cool. at that show. Wow, um, that's amazing. Yeah, yeah, top eight in the open class. It was good at that time. And then um, 2017, I got hurt. And then uh, mm. it was from powerlifting. I think it was just from overuse. Because uh, right after, yo, this is another thing. Um, right after the that 2016 uh, powerlifting and bodybuilding uh, dual athlete thing I was doing, um, I got hurt in 2017. Like, cause, uh, this was my, my last like competition with that in 2016 was, um, uh, in October. Yeah. It was like in October. 
Yeah. So like I was feeling yeah. amazing in training, just like how I am now. I was feeling amazing in training. I just kept pushing yeah. it, pushing it, pushing it. And I think and your connective like, tissue wasn't really. Yeah, like, I think that's what it was, oh, man. Yeah. And then, like once 2017 hit, I got hurt like the first week of 2017. Wow. And it was really bad. It was, I couldn't recover. I, I don't know. It was like the first time I ever got injured and I started, you know, mentally just going into like a, a dark places, man. And it, yeah, it was man, like, I, that's that's what was, was what I had in 2017. Like super depressed. Like, we did like a, shit, man. A, I never like did a cut. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. I never got depressed like that in my life, yo. But like, yeah, me, same, man. Me, same. Like staying, like there was a time where, and I never did this before. This is the first time I did not work out for two weeks. Nothing. Yeah, it's me out. as well. I was like, oh, it's training. Is it, do I still want to do it? Like you look yeah. like you question yourself. Maybe, oh, maybe I should find another another yeah, thing. Spot. Maybe, yeah. maybe I'm not like an athlete. Maybe I should start, I don't know, like drawing or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dead. Wait, are you a good artist? Or are you just saying like that's kind so of, kind of actually, oh, yeah, okay. a little oh, bit. Bad, so uh, I'm only, I'm only <laughs> so laughing. I like, that's like that's so random. It's like <laughs> instead of being fucking Kai Green, let me let me be Bob Ross. Like let me start painting. <laughs> <laughs> drunk, start painting, bro. I'm dead. No, but I was really at that time when I got an injury. I was questioning, like, you know, like when no. you got into like dark places, like yeah, no, I like weird so. thoughts, I'm man. And I was a lot into video games as well, like PlayStation. I was like, maybe I should. <laughs> I don't know. Yo, no, no, yo, that's funny because I, that, that's the same thing with me. That's why I started Twitch streaming at the time. Um, yeah, I didn't have money, much money at the time, so I was just like. Cause you have to, mm. to, to to stream how I wanted to stream with good quality. I wanted good equipment, and that cost money. Obviously, mm. so it took a little bit for me yeah, to like, yeah. save up and get stuff. But uh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> same with me. I was playing video because it's like a, almost like a, you're trying to find another outlet. Like, cause low key now that I look about yeah, it, really look look back at it in hindsight, I was like really depressed. Like, I, I and I never yeah, I mean, well, man. Yeah, at the time I didn't know I was depressed because I never went through depression before. I never experienced that like i never felt like i'm a my energy is usually like very high like positive energy so uh yeah i never yeah, yes. i didn't know i was just like going through it but i didn't know but yeah yeah, yeah that's that's the thing like same with me like injury is a big trigger for me even nowadays yeah, to get kind of like really down the press whatever keeps I'm you like, out of the gym i feel like the gym is just yeah. so ingrained it, it, it's kind of like, like keeps you out of the gym of and kind of yeah, like think, keeps you out of reaching your goals as well you yeah know? yeah like, i feel like uh it's like if i don't hit it, if i don't exercise it's like um uh, yeah it it's messes like, with everything outside of my life my mental like everything yeah, big time. work yeah so so but yeah yeah um and we went off on a tangent, but yeah, 2017, that's what uh, happened. I got hurt. So we, from 2017 to like when we, we competed this past year, um, it was just a lot of recovery. Like, um, like just, it took a while for me to get back into like a, a healthy off season tr uh, worth of like a, a whole year worth of mm. off season training. Yeah. You know? It's like getting back into the groove. It's yeah, it was hard. Time. Like the longer you're yeah. out of it. The, that's why I can emphasize with people like who didn't train for one or two years getting back into it is very hard and yeah, I, like, sometimes I know it's so easy man for us mm -hmm. because we so like it's such a big habit and yeah. part of our life but when you're out of the gym for quite some time it's quite hard man to get yeah. back into it it takes weeks for most yep yep yeah and so, it was, yeah it was hard to get yeah. consistent training and i think a part of it was like yeah, because man. i had powerlifting goals because if i was just straight mm. bodybuilding it would probably be a little bit easier um because yes, my body wouldn't be hurting all the time you know what i mean like it's a different type of feel when you're 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 powerlifting for sure because it's just like every like weeks will be some weeks will be good we'll be building up volume we'll be mm. building up momentum into a, a good uh meso cycle and then boom my freaking back just like doesn't blow out but like it's just like yeah just in immense pain like and yeah yeah so it was just like a yo-yo of that like just doing good and then oh, I'm like the injury just comes back and then doing good it was just like that and uh my first real yeah, healthy so season, much more dangerous mm. yeah well my first real healthy season was probably like late 2018 2019 mm. and no yeah like 2019 actually yeah 2019 um that's when i really started picking up some some, some the pace and then 2020 yeah. was like a good um 
and then uh yeah actually no and then yeah and then i it was like a yo-yo and in 2020 i started working with uh, the pt from uh 3dmj nick he's my neighbor yeah yeah he's my neighbor yeah. so yeah i started working with him and birdo so that really helped um and also shout That's out to my man, pt man. uh diana i don't know if she watches this but she helped me a lot um in the beginning um then i kind of made contact with her yeah she helped me a lot um so P- getting getting help from a professional a pt <laughs> Um, really help the, the the process of uh, the recovery, but yeah. Definitely. Another thing too is when I when I was when I first got injured because I never got injured before. I didn't really know how to approach it, so like I'm always like yeah. I'm going too hard too soon, and then it just re injures whatever. It just aggravates the injury. Same, same. Because like yeah, it's hard to be uh, be sometimes easygoing. Yeah, yeah, and just let of, it go. Yeah. You know what I mean? And, yeah, like instead of like. Cause you have like a number, well, for powerlifting, it's like a lot of numbers, right? So it's like, you have this number that you're going to hit in mind for this training mm. session. Sometimes it doesn't, you know, it doesn't feel good, but you still tr- go for it. And then, yeah. Boom. And then you, you even go with it with bad, bad te- technique and stuff. Like yeah, just re-injure, get the number, just whatever. get it. For me, <laughs> yeah. my back, um, mm. injuring that. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Damn, man. Yeah. Damn. That leading to 2020. Um, yeah, yeah. We just... Or oh, 29, 20, yeah, 2020, I want to do uh, Christian Guzman. This was still, um, this was still men's physique. I wasn't into the bodybuilding. Thing. Yeah. I was like, I'm not big enough. I'm going to just keep doing men's physique for a little bit. And uh, yeah, yeah. See how I could do. I do, I do. I did well the last time. So it can only get better this year. So um, I did that. I was going to, that was the goal. I was going to do Christian Guzman show. Berto was like, no, let's yeah. just do. Just take another year off and let's do the mayhem in next next summer 2021 it's supposed to yes. be in july um yeah and then yeah and that was the goal i was like damn i want to fuck it i wanted to do this men's physique show but um yeah yeah uh berto kind of talked me into just doing open bodybuilding and i was like fuck it let's do it oh good yeah <laughs> oh shit. i don't think he wanted me to do men's physique i don't think he digs that the men's physique i don't know if he even has any other men's like men's physique clients but uh I haven't seen any. I, I don't it. think so. Yeah, me as well. Point. I never. Yeah, yeah. And I don't even yeah. think he wanted. To be honest, I don't even think he wanted me to powerlift. <laughs> if we're being real, but uh. Because he can see like like the potential as well we have as a bodybuilder. Yeah, he's yeah. Straight. I know he. Well, what, what inspired me to do that is because he did it. He did powerlifting one time, mm. and he was super shy. Yeah, I did. remember that shit. So I'll it's never forget that. I'm like, if this yeah. guy can do it, I'm gonna do it. It's definitely possible. So, so that's what got <laughs> me into it. Um yeah but yeah 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 that that, that, that was like my whole five-year stint with uh That's good right on man but uh yeah what about you like um yeah yours actually no i asked you yours, yours is straight straight bodybuilding the whole way right a whole way man yeah yeah, yeah, kind yeah. Of. and hey that like it shows what what happens when you you know when you really put in that work for for <laughs> for a long period of time because it's Five years you work with Berto and you didn't even do one contest until yeah later. like not at all I mean it was still like a little bit of a roller coaster like I say with the injury it was not like like a straight process all the way up yeah, had some true. setbacks for sure but yeah the main thing was always building 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 and yeah we yeah. always kept the goal the goal <laughs> yeah yeah well, so, what do you think yeah. what do you think is like the the I guess that one of the biggest things you learned working with Birdo and 3DMJ, because I'm assuming they, I don't know how the other coaches coach, but I'm assuming they all have like a similar uh, um, training and nutrition uh, coaching approach yes, or style I think so as well. or different styles, yeah. but the same kind of uh, under the same umbrella, under the same, um, I guess, um, theories and, and, and uh, yeah, just the overall approach is very similar with them so so what do you think is like the biggest thing you learned or yeah you know, the biggest thing you learned or the most important thing you learned? like actually to be honest like the, i think the most important thing was like yeah like to to letting go as well from the not so important things like like i said like before i got coach i was really obsessed with everything being perfectionistic with everything and what I really learned was like that skill of like knowing what's super important and knowing what's not so important and knowing when to let go and when to push hard, like getting that kind of intuition within myself. 
that was the main thing I learned from Alberto, like really, really knowing when I need to go hard and when I need to get loose. True. Yeah, because it's always like just straight hard. Yeah, and time. like Both every more. year I'm getting better with that. Like, I don't know, like knowing when you need to track super accurate the calories, when you need to get loose with it. Yeah. And like, especially like right after prep, I know it would not be beneficial for my goal if I would still be super strict and stuff or like, like feeling some guilt when I'm eating like 10,000 calories a day in Vegas. Yeah. It would not feeling benefit guilt my, my when goal. I'm beating yourself up if, in the gym. Yeah. Goal, right. I would feel guilt. It would not a lot, a lot of cardio. Goal, it's the, like, fuck, I ate all yeah. this. Let's do all this cardio exactly to burn it that. up. Train hard. Yeah. And I know, Extreme like, from dieting. being like, like like skin shredded like having a few days with like ten thousand calories won't do much will even benefit my goal kind of because i know i i'm so lean and i want to get out of that state actually as safe as possible and i it's actually good to be loose for a few days and just yeah but then also on the other hand knowing like i can't let it go for weeks and yeah having just that intuition to knowing when to go hard, when to let go. And I think the longer we train and living that lifestyle, the better, the better we get. And I think it's still a little bit individual for everyone. Like what is like extreme for you or for me is like more easy for the other kind of person. So having that intuition for yourself kind of. So, and that, I think that's the a really important part of it. Yeah. Yeah. Just knowing so, when to like, yeah, because it can't be always like foot on the pedal, knowing when to. Yeah, that's definitely yes, one yes, of yes. The, the, the big, bigger things that I've learned too, for sure. That and I think, yeah, um, that, that, and then uh, for me, what else? Is there anything else just that for you or what? Uh, I had actually many things, but it's like the, yeah, that's I would like say the, main the biggest thing. thing for sure. I think, and yeah. For me, now like it's, thinking about yeah, it, with think, everything. No. Yeah, for me, training like uh, just like uh, this, just knowing vol like the amount of training. You know what I mean? Like, cause I, before I was just doing so much volume, and I always thought that volume. Oh yeah, like, same, same, same. You know yeah. I mean? Like, just five to six sets, or four to six sets mm. of like whatever anything from like eight to 20 reps is like yeah yeah and and just hitting it hard all the time you know what i mean yeah getting if, quality if was, volume I, in a big if it was a lower body well. day and i'm leaving and i and and i don't feel hurt like not hurt but like sore you know what i mean like where you can't walk mm. out of the gym <clears throat> and i didn't get a good workout same thing with upper body upper body mm. i would go a lot by feel. Yes. um so so a lot of it is like um creating objective um mm. uh goals for for the gym not yeah. only just like going by the feel because if i would go by the field that, that's why i would train like that it was just like everything till failure because uh, you know i finished it makes you feel good. <laughs> and I, yeah and i could still move you know what i mean if i could mm. still move that means i didn't get a good workout in so so it was just like every yeah everything was just like ex very extreme extreme so i feel like for me that was like the biggest thing um yeah knowing that you thing. can do three sets just three sets and 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 mm. uh if you train efficiently um you can get just as much if not more out of it than doing like five yeah and you sets. treat the sets way different yeah five yeah. six sets of like 20 20 20 reps like you know what i mean 15 yeah. 20 reps so um and then there is a time and place for all that for sure like going to failure mm. and um you know working in high reps just like you're doing now yeah, right? yeah yeah but um just knowing that um uh, yeah that that part is like knowing yeah, it, it comes down to that knowing when when to push and when when not to push too yeah so exactly man really these things man for sure uh, uh amongst uh, a lot of other things that i can't really think of um because they also like when i started working with 3dmj i started watching more of 3dmj like literally all the content they post all yeah me as well so yeah, much videos that, on youtube in the vault, man. and then um all, every time mm -hmm. like the, the books one of them are in interviews yeah. i watch it like uh yeah i know steve's uh revive podcast he was on there Berto was on, Berto was on a mm -hmm. shit ton of podcasts and, and just different um mm. youtube channels just talking different stuff um 
yeah learn about training nutrition stuff like that so yeah, yeah um just learning learning from them in general um amazing see. yeah 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 um what else are we missing what, what else we talk about uh contest um, prep with birdo this was the first time yeah, yeah, yeah your first show damn forget this is your first season <laughs> yeah yeah, so, so, <laughs> yeah. Um, how how i can't even i was gonna ask you how do you how did your first season go but we all know mr ready too early but but did um uh, so finally meeting the goat what do you think what are your first impressions oh it was it was super amazing it was like man it's actually such a weird feeling because it's like, oh, it's like, oh, we know each other actually for so long, have so much trust in each other and stuff. And then meeting each other in person, it's like, it's, it's a weird feeling, man. But it was amazing. So yeah, it wasn't weird. It what was, was like interaction it, it, with Birdo. You have any stories? You have any Birdo stories? Like, I saw him at uh, in the hotel when I was walking down in the, in the mall, in the lobby. And um, then I was like, oh, shit, that's Birdo. And I, I, I was even, like, a little bit nervous, you know? Like, yeah, like, like I feel like the little, boy, like, bro, a little, like, not, like, fanboy, like, you feel like the little Padawan, you know? He's my master. And I'm like, you know, like, you have, like, that little feeling of, like, he's my he's master. And then master. you meet him the what first the time. Is... In first. <laughs> no, but you you know what I mean? Like, yeah, he's, like, he's like master splinter, right? And we're, like, the Ninja Turtles. Yeah, like, like, a Yoda. <laughs> Yoda with long hair. Oh man, the bodybuilding Jesus. And yeah, <laughs> and, and I, and then I, yeah, I said, hey, I had a quick conversation and was yeah, really cool, cool really cool. cool. He's chill. Super chill. Yeah, Super when I first chill, met yeah. Berto, it was at a powerlifting meet. It was at the the national wow. powerlifting meet. Um, <laughs> yeah, and I feel like so every correct. time before Worlds, every time I seen Berto in person, I was mm. always stressed out. Like that time, really? I was stressed out because I <laughs> barely out. made weight. Yo. So for powerlifting, there's weight classes. I yeah. barely made weight, bro. I was doing like handstand. I was doing all this shit. I was spitting for like an like an yeah. hour in a cup. I was uh I did a handstand. Um <laughs> I feel like this is like this is like the yo, it's so funny in hindsight, thinking of like yeah. our, our competitions, like it's like fuck, like even a world that barely made weight. So it's like we're yeah. always barely fucking. You're Mister Ready too early. Yeah, I'm Mister Ready, not too early enough. <laughs> barely ready. <laughs> Mr. Barely Mr. Ready, ready. Not barely ready. Barely ready. ready. Fuck it. We're just doing. It. <laughs> do it for data and experience. <laughs> we we need but to do a fusion. Fun, we need to get fun. a mix. <laughs> and I wouldn't. Yeah, man. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's complete opposite. <laughs> That's so funny. But yeah, yeah, it was fun. Um, but yeah, I was always like stressed out. I feel like. Yeah, I was always yeah. stressed out. Then, uh, Especially when like between a weight class, like between bantam and lightweight, you know, like in between, it's like oh fuck, it's like playing a little bit of like lottery, like. Yeah, I almost would have done better at the free the the the, the lightweight class probably. <laughs> yeah, the bantam weight was stacked. Yeah, man. I know. Stacked. Yeah, you're telling me, bro. Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. What else was I think? Oh yeah, all the other times I, 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 I think, I would see him at powerlifting meets because uh, the girl I was dating at the time, um, she was like a high level powerlifter, or oh, she cool. is. Yeah, and uh, so she was coached by Berta at one point too. But um, oh, um, cool. But um, yeah, yeah. I would, I would always go to these national powerlifting meets, even though I didn't compete cool. because she was always competing, yeah. and then I would always see Berto there, like uh. But yeah, I was always stressed out. Like I, I was handling uh, my girl at the time. So I'd be like stressed out. And then I'll see Berto. I'm like, fuck, okay, look, we got to make conversation real quick. So it's like sometimes, <laughs> you know, you don't want to talk, but it's just like, mm. yeah. Yeah. So I was just, I'm saying all that to say that. It's just like, oh, I never got to chill with him like mm. we did at Worlds, this past Worlds. I was always like stressed. Oh, it was so amazing the, the time afterwards. Yeah. Yeah. So this was, it was a good experience this time around for sure. That's, that's cool, um, man. I feel like so we're we're almost on the the, the marker time, but uh, how do you want to close this? I I guess uh, we'll talk yeah. about um, yeah, the, the the transition into uh, to off season now. Yeah, yeah, we'll finish off with that. 
yeah, I, I can say like like how this rule prep was 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 like kind of traditional style weekly check ins, weekly form updates. You've been checking in with Berto uh, since you came back from like the first. Yeah, I'm still checking back. in like for this whole yeah. month now for Same December weekly. Like I check in with with a form update with the daily weighting. And yeah, with the training, how that's going, all that. That's how we did the rule prep. And then he's making adjustments, mm -hmm. mostly. Or if it's going extremely well, we're making no adjustments at all. So especially now in transitioning into the off season, it's a great thing. I was still at the end of the prep. I was like, oh, I think like right after prep, I can handle it myself. I don't need bird, Same. but it's still like, I still like, man, really beneficial because yeah. The, the rational brain, we are st our brain is still fucked a little. <laughs> yeah, hundred <laughs> like, percent. Like I was still like, like not sure, like how many calories should I eat, mm. uh, how I should do my training. I was so like, um, yeah, indecisive, kind of like I don't know if it's the right thing to do. And having Birdo now in the transition phase is so good. Like having him to tell me, I do exactly what he says, like in regards to the calories and how we approach everything. And that helps a lot. And then I feel like, yeah, from January on, I'm like, I having that training program from January as well. I'm really looking forward to, and then I know I can handle it all myself again. And yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's the main the thing, way. man. Yeah, I felt like I could. Uh, so yeah, same thing. It's funny because like we're in a chat and every day we're talking and like we're all like in that like focus, like we we need Birdo, yeah. like you know what I mean. Cause like we're all in that that same focus where it's like yes. we still have to track everything. We still gotta stay on point. We can't like eat too much. You know what I mean? We're all talking like fuck. We gain yeah. too much body fat. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, yeah. This is a but good man. Time. Like in hindsight, we didn't like we all look good, man. Like we yeah. didn't get fat. We didn't like oh, no. messed up with everything, yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. So. We're, we're doing decent for sure. Yeah, yeah. But um, and I, just... I always like the first week I was like. I don't know. Oh, maybe I I gained weight too fast. Or yeah, I yeah right. Fast. I was yeah. a little bit like worried. Yeah. But now, if I look at it, I'm like, I'm yeah. really happy. Like gotta, how I handled the mm -hmm. recovery phase. Yeah, yeah. And you just definitely. need that that other voice in your head to tell you like. Yes. To what tell to you it's okay. And... You know, what I mean, you're doing fine. You're gonna be fine. And, it's not uh, perfect at all. Like yeah. especially recovery. Like we need to accept that some days we're hitting way more calories than we should and not beating ourselves up. Yeah, that. right. That's or a huge thing. Things like that. that. Yeah, it's only going to, right now, it's okay. And, and, and uh, you know, you can fix up the, you can clean up the mess later on. But the, the, the biggest thing post-show is just to recover. It's also the mental. mental and we don't recover like the mental. Physical, if we physical of course, but out. mental, the psychological part of things is like uh, what a lot of people yes. overlook. Because they, because they, um, before they put this psychological part uh, aspect of things um, to the for mm. forefront, they they put um, I guess like the physique first. You know how how you're looking before your yes. like your mental. And I think yeah. uh, it's kind of like yeah. You should, yeah. And you the, the thing with the right? mental is the the thing with the mental as well is like it's so connected uh, connected to the hormones. Like I realized yeah. that a lot, a yeah. lot. Like like all hormones like dopamine, endorphins all that thing, serotonin, it's yeah. really, really, really down during prep and at the end of prep. And that they obviously the recover as well from mm -hmm. our food. And then it's like, yeah, it affects like, the way you think. Damn. Sure. Yeah, yeah, you totally forgot like how it feels like to be excited for things besides food. Yeah, right. Just yeah, like know, like yeah. at the end of prep, the only joy I got was from food. Food, yeah. Best thing ever, and I, I'm like people. Are the at only me thing like, I got God, joy damn, from. You're eating a lot. <laughs> yeah, but it I'm was like, the only is... thing I got joy from. Yeah, like yeah. at some point, your libido is down, so you don't get any joy from that. Like you don't get joy from movies or uh, reading. Yeah. Like when I was watching a movie, I was like, with the brain fog and stuff, was watching it. I'm like, ah, oh. it's Why like you, you don't get really movie? into it, you know, or yeah, like yeah. playing video games. I just it was not hitting like it was like you don't get like a good feeling from it that was yeah, like for me the end wow. of web like the only joy was food like when i was eating i got all the dopamine i was oh, wow so really? good, you know that's <laughs> you that bad yeah that's crazy that's extreme 
yeah yeah i know what Definitely. you mean but mine's not to that extent but yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah I, really, I just like, love food at the end yeah i felt yeah. like a, i want to be a foodie <laughs> yeah. just try different all, all these different restaurants um and then yeah, another gosh, thing is a lot of people were just hitting me up to eat because they knew it was like listen he's done that's what he wants to do he wants to eat so a lot of people were, were contacting me to eat like eat out yeah and i felt oh, guilty at the, in the beginning yeah. man and i was like that's what, that's what i mean about the prep brain it's like you, you, you know what i mean it's okay to like oh it, i struggled with that as well way. in germany because we, we didn't have that uh, satisfy cues anymore and like i couldn't really enjoy it i was yeah. like i'm eating and i'm like I feel like I felt before. I'm not really full. <laughs> yeah. And in yeah. Vegas, I mean, we went nuts. Like, oh yeah, we Vegas. ate so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's why Berto was like, I think in the, in my last check, and he was just saying that uh, when we were in Vegas, he was just letting you guys eat. He was like, you guys deserved it. Um, yeah, yeah. He was yeah. telling us to restrict ourselves. He wanted us to eat, so it was good. Yeah, it was good. And like, like that was the thing I struggled to like, even now a little bit in Germany, like eating like normal sized meals in the restaurant. I was like, I don't know, not really getting satisfied from it, you know? And, yeah. and I was I still like, I was like super picky. Like what, what I'm going to order, like how I'm going to invest my calories. Yeah. That's of. another thing. It's like, damn, like, you don't want, you want it. Now you're thinking about like how, how it's going to be. Like what? What would you order, and how it's gonna fit like your your macros and your your cal caloric intake? Oh, yeah, that was the thing I need to let go as well. Yeah, like, was, that was a huge thing. With the like, shit. Wow. Yeah, Man, it's big yeah, time. Yeah. So so how how have you been? Big what have you been time. doing right now? How have you been uh, approaching it right now? Are you not tracking at all? Because that's what I'm. Doing. I'm I'm tracking. I'm tracking, but um more loosely so like uh, for instance yesterday i had some um, japanese ramen with a friend and oh. at the evening we ordered some pizza with some friends so i was just yeah, estimating go. it yeah and you put and it in my i'm spot. not doing it every day but i still like um waiting like using my scale for every other food at home because it's not a stressor for me just like a habit but i'm really yeah, loose with like i don't know like maybe get, uh, eating out with friends or like not yeah. track, like getting something from the supermarket and stuff but it was a little bit hard at the beginning like when i got back here like it's it just not used to it like it's a freedom we forgot like i yeah. was like i'm allowed to eat out that feels so weird <laughs> you know yeah yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you said am i allowed to eat out <laughs> yeah kind Daddy of Burst like in your mind yes, you go know? eat out <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah i feel you but, uh, so you're tracking everything and yeah. pretty much except for when you go out you're being a little bit loose exactly man so i'm like at 4500 calories now and and the great thing is man i'm like within two weeks i just gained one kg and oh, that's, that's huge man yeah, like yeah. with 4500 what's like, your goal right now though like where are you supposed so to be around um like i think marker? the goal is to get to like 72 73 kg and then we slow Is things that, down like okay. i'm now at 71 71.5 71. i think it is yeah 61 i think yeah something like that so yeah so like another three or four pounds from now on and then i think we slow it down yeah so okay yeah and yeah, kind of being loosely like 4,500, like on some days mm. having like 4,700 and on other days, 4,300, for instance. So yeah. I'm not super like hit that number. And with macros, like protein is kind of in a fixed spot, but fats and carbs, whatever. Like, whatever. I that's don't worry where I'm about at. that. And that, yeah. that's where I feel like is that I've been uh, like, like in previous off season that's mm. That's like a healthy like mindset for me where I could just yeah also in the off season having yeah, ranges yeah. yeah I could just track in ranges and then track just make sure I get enough protein and then everything just else the protein is the range. most important yeah 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 so yeah all in all that's that's going really good man you know I mean right now I think Birdo is just uh, telling me not to track just to get away from all that. Uh, that, that 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 prep brain that prep mind that compulsive kind of behavior yes. yeah the really, compulsive yeah. behaviors of yeah that that kind of 
um yeah you you adapt from going through a contest prep so uh that's why and, and how, how much do you think you need to gain like how much weight you need to gain more rapidly and i, th I think i'm at a good weight. Like, right now i'm like what i just weighed myself this morning i'm 165 so which is oh, what, like 74 how, kilos what? 70 75 kilos something like that 74 and a half so it's kilos. like like 15 pounds above stage weight yeah about oh, how much yeah, are you yeah, up yeah. now this is where he wants me to be so um i haven't oh, been tracking though i haven't been tracking body weight or anything uh since, yes like yes, tuesday because he just wanted me to completely take out everything and just eye everything i'm like all right cool it was kind of weird um because mm. uh you know if he wanted me to hit a you know around four thousand calories but um in mm. terms of protein make sure i get like 40 50 or he said 50 grams per yeah. four times a day so that would okay. be around like 200 grams of carb uh okay, protein man. yeah around there yeah so i've been Perfect, doing that man. feels good training has always been feeling good but i'm just trying to like yeah you know i'm not under under structure he didn't give me anything yet i think we're just trying to recover and then once we are yeah it feels like i'm i'm good um probably at the, after christmas like in the, the new year yeah same like we have the same approach yeah 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 so it's, it's cool good. seeing um like what you get because uh we pretty much we get the same stuff but it, it, it's not exactly the same just similar um yeah so, yeah so it's cool that we could talk about it and sometimes we are doing the same movements the same you know what i mean the same uh almost mm. the same training almost sometimes so yeah and we can connect and shall yeah we can connect through that, that that's so. what's pretty cool but yeah, 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 and like even with the recovery now, like we really experience experience like really similar. So that's yeah, quite cool. that's like, cool. Yeah, I know. I love that that we were able to like all three of us, you, you, Brian, yeah. and and me, just like texting every day. Um, oh damn, that's so vent, good, man. Yeah, you know what I mean? Because I feel like sometimes you know just venting mm. to people that understand, you know what I mean, um, helps because then we can yes. all relate to each other. And just like, oh, I'm not yeah. the only one that feels like uh crazy you know what I mean? yeah sometimes like feeling like weird and like so yeah, i still yeah. have like weird habits that's cool so that, that's so important actually to like yeah. share it with yeah man. and that and which like, is yeah. why we do this podcast no. man not only to keep in touch but definitely man uh yeah and everyone who's going through people. it as well can yeah 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 man but yeah can you have any, any other thing yeah man. thoughts while, before we i go? think we can we can leave it here man i think yeah, we man. touched like yeah, all touched all of that. the things yeah. Yeah, and uh the hopefully closing the people, thoughts about it yeah hopefully the people got a good um i guess uh grasp of like how it is to work with birdo and, and i can't really speak for mm. the the whole team at 3dmj but um you know the success we've mm. we've uh gotten from working mm. five years of working with uh definitely, birdo definitely, and 3DMJ, man. man and uh how much we can say we love it i mean I, yeah yeah, we, I could say I definitely, um, you know, think it's worth all the money and and, and the time and, and the investment um, for sure. Ah, same. Yeah. Team 3DMJ, I always promote them the best team in the game right here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> yes, Where's your shirt, bro? I thought you were going to wear it. I the giant killer one. With a giant killer. You. Take that shit off. <laughs> bro. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, one more thing. How's the Tinder account going? <laughs> I deleted it. Oh, you know man. why? Because if you don't have Tinder gold or pay for it, you get shadow banned. Like you don't get any matches at all. Like, like, like I think as well, so many dudes got themselves paying for Tinder now because of the lockdowns and shit. That if you don't pay for it, it's even worse. Yeah. <laughs> so dead. It's uh, really man. like that, man. We I'm like, a, we gotta have nah, a man. talk. I, I, I need, I need, to, I need to get some notes. I never used Tinder before, so I don't know about that. Actually, I have, but like, not, uh, I, I should get it in the US, man. I think that's better. <laughs> I don't I even think. Yeah, probably. Probably. I don't know. <laughs> Believe in, it here, in, man. In, in, in Guys, LA. thank you so much LA. for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you so much for watching the Natty Boys podcast uh oh, yeah. MJ, man this is a show for you guys for us for birdo love you guys we're out of here peace out soon for the next episode of Amazing. the natty boy podcast <laughs> yes <Man. laughs>